Okay, so I have an Epson Home Cinema Power Light 2030 right here, and it has been overheating, as you can see right here. Quite a bit of melting. It's been shutting off. It's been flashing the warn warning saying that it's uh, overheating. So I'm going to just, uh, first thing you're going to do is check the uh, filter. So I'm going to take the filter cover off here. And it's already clean because I cleaned it already. That's the thing that you do regularly. So the next thing was the bulb. I had a spare bulb for this projector. So we'll just take this cover off. There's a screw on the side there for that. And that comes off. You can see a little bit of the heat on the heat shield there. And now we're gonna take this out. So uh, there's two screws either side right here. Spin those out. And that should now lift out of there. So we take that out, put it aside, and usually you'll have quite a bit of dust in here. I certainly did the first time I changed the bulb by the way, changing the bulb did not seem to make a whole lot of difference. So, um, next, we're gonna take it apart further. So, we flip it over for this, and this is where, yeah, you probably wanna take pictures or film it so you can get it back together. self tapping the type that just kinda cut into the plastic, not the fine. Ah, I think I've got more screws to go. So far, it is not totally coming apart. That appears to be coming up right there. And there's a screw over here. Thing is not to force anything. Just keep taking it slow. And don't to snap the plastic. I th think they are pretty much all the same, so I don't have to put them in separate categories. Okay, so that is coming up. There we go. That's coming up. May as well take that out of the way, make sure there's nothing there. Now, around to the front, I believe we might have, yes, there's another guy right there. Let's try hand bombing this one out. Yeah, that's a Phillips. There, we're into it. Can feel it. Hope we're in focus. This projector, by the way, is many years old. I've got six and a half thousand hours on the original bulb and projector. So my problem is the image has been getting dim and over, and the projector's been overheating and shutting down. I thought maybe it was just a gimmick. Now this screw is different. It's a fine thread, but it's obvious and I'm sure I'll remember, maybe. Okay, so now what I'm trying to do is separate this. Okay, the back, the whole back is now going to fall off. Okay, I'm gonna put it back the right way. And now we're gonna lift this. Now, you have to be careful here because there's a keypad. That means there's gonna be a wire to that, which is this ribbon right here, this ribbon tape is actually connected to the panel right here with all the buttons on it. Now you can unplug that son of a gun, but I could unplug it right here, but I'm always a little bit afraid to do that in case I don't get it back in. So let's see, it's coming quite easily. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
So now I've disconnected that all together so I can set this aside. You want to use one of those aerosol spray if you're going to use air for cleaning it out. Because um, you don't want to drive dust into some of these components. Even though there's dust throughout the entire unit. Sometimes that's all you need to do is clean it and it's good to go. And I was hoping that's all I had to do. But evidently when I did my cleaning, I, I may have actually driven dust under pressure into, I don't know, inside the lens or one of the uh, image. Okay, now. This is the speaker wires are connected there, and I don't know if that's going to come off easily. I don't know if I have to take that off really that much further. What I'm trying to do now is this fan, I'm, I'm thinking this fan right here, it wasn't spinning. And when the thing was overheating, the fan was not turning. So I'm wondering if I need to test this fan to see what the deal is. It's also got some, what looks like heat damage on the sticker on the front. So I will take this out, I think it comes off. At the front here, there are screws right here. So we will try that. Okay, so we're just removing the exhaust fan, it plugs in. So I'm gonna push this plug out here. And then if I can get this out of here, I'm just gonna unhook it from these clips. It's just tucked so nicely in there. There we go. And now I can pull that right out of there. Now we can go and test this. Four wires. The black and the red should be the uh, power supply. And the other ones are the control to tell the fan speed and when to come on and off. But if I connect the uh, black and the red to a power supply, I'm just gonna use this 12 volt Transformer, it says it's 12 volt DC on here. So we're gonna connect the red to the positive on here. And the black wire to the negative side here. And then we're simply gonna just plug this guy in, see what happens. And if it works, if it spins, That'll tell me that this fan, exhaust fan, is actually good. Like, it, it's pretty burned up here. Like, it got hot. Everything got hot in there, so it might not work. Let's give it a shot. Nothing. So, just a second here. Check my wire. Oop, there we go. Oh, that thing is putting out lots of air. Ouch. Oh, okay. Well, you can don't do that. But look at that is torquing. <whistles> okay, so we got power. No problem. All right, so now we're going to very carefully connect the AC so we can test this out.
Peel that back. Well, this is where we're at. We've got the uh, upper board removed and this lower board here is connected with these massive ribbon cables that I don't want to release because uh, I'm afraid I won't get them all back. But now I have access to stuff in terms of uh, cleaning the color wheel in there and some of the glass lenses. I'm gonna try uh, getting in there to clean as many of them as I can and then uh, plug everything back together and hope for the best. Okay, so we're just looking from the back side and there is where the 200 watt light source came from shining through some filters and I have under here now dismantled this the motherboard is right over and out of the picture but down here we have our three LCD screens which have these very massive ribbon wire which goes up and I can't really I don't want to unplug those so I'm going to now try and get in as many of the prisms and mirrors and filter lenses as I can here with a bit of very light air pressure to see if I can get the dust that appears to be interfering with the quality of our picture out of there. And then I'm going to start putting it back together. So I'm not going to pull any of those screws apart. I would only do that if I was desperate. And I'm getting desperate, but not quite yet. Got my little tube connected to my air compressor. I'm going to keep the air pressure low.
so this is my solution to the overheating problem. I cut all of that out. There was just a heat shield across here and some compartments to help uh, dissipate heat, but I just opened it all right up. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing there? Hello. What? Oh, that's a fan. I was going to stick my face in there. Stick your tongue in it. Just so I've still got the old bulb in there with over 6,000 hours on it. Let's see if it'll go a little longer. With the new cooling. 